grey, this is beautiful. This is how the house should look outside. Yeah, this is really this? beautiful. With this, uh, this is very nice. This book is amazing. An incredible book. Let's see. Let's see more. Let's ah. and this. Oh, this must be Brancusi now, right? Yes. This is the studio of Brancusi, who inspired all of them a lot. Brancusi. Dusamp uh, had some Brancusis and he lived uh, most of his life thanks to the Brancusis because he was selling them <laughs> when they were expensive. I should have done the same with like Douglas Gordon and these people. Well, now it's somebody you like. Ah, Sonia Delaunay, great woman artist, one of the few important women arts. You have this painter. theory that women actually they can they can't be good painters. No, you were I, it's yesterday. a question. I've never seen somebody. It's a question, but yeah. she's a good painter. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not like an amazing painter. No, look at Kupka. He's later. It's this, almost the same style. She's, but she's a good painter anyway. We yeah, should, we should good, be. but not extraordinary. Not extraordinary. Yeah, the way like the colors or whatever. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is yeah. nice. It looks like my two's brother. Yeah, this is great. Kupka. Great. Yeah, you can tell he's in. Yeah. He's cool. Cool. Yeah. No, th I think that the women, they lose their interest in a certain point in terms of painting. They're very good initially, then they kind of lose their interest. They want to do I other wonder, things. I wonder why, what it is. Maybe it's... It's, uh, it's too fairy tale. It's always about pattern. Okay, Don't, let's not forget that the painter does everything he does to to amuse females or male. Who's this now? Uh, other. This is uh, Larionov and Goncharov. Yeah, I don't know. Russian, uh, Russian uh, avant-garde. Yeah, Important poor. Russian avant-garde. Yeah. They look poor. They look poor. Yeah, yeah but that's I like. Look, but the, in black and white, it looks not poor. Stalin and stuff like that, right? This mm -hmm. must be Russia. But yeah. no, it's all Paris. It's Paris? Yeah. Ah, so they were. Oh my god, poor guys. Yeah, okay. Kadinsky. Ah, that very organized German. But, uh, excuse me, he had his photograph in his studio? <laughs> I think it's really. This is like Cezanne and Kadinsky are now museum. I don't think that's actually how he okay. left it. Nice, nah, cool. Ah, so but Russian uh, uh, iconic. Yeah, Kadinsky. First abstract painting. Yeah. And uh, this we can skip. Chagall. This Chagall, we don't want to look at Chagall, we don't want to film Chagall. Sorry, sorry guys, we are showing you Chagall, we don't want to see Chagall. Here he is again with his horrible priests and stuff. Oh, this is Brack, which I feel offended every time I see them because once in a, a restaurant in New York, Malcolm accused me. He said, Miltos, you don't have courage. You are Brack. You are George Brack. And he was making fun out of me, telling me that I'm George Brack. And I found it the most obnoxious thing anyone ever told me in my life. I said, Malcolm, please do not tell me you are Brack. And he went on to say, you are Brack. You are George Brack. You should have turned it into a compliment. Look how, how well dressed he is. It's not a compliment. Yeah, okay, he's well dressed, but Malcolm didn't mean that. I mean, um, yeah, he was, he's you well dressed. He's too polite, no? Yeah. Malcolm, George Brack is very well dressed. It's not such a bad thing to be Look, his George Brack, maybe. Well. But this anyway. is also a mix south of France and Paris in Saint Nick. I don't want to be George Brack anyway. I don't want to be George Brack. Who do you want to be out of this book? Nobody. Uh, Miltos Manetos. I want, don't want to be anybody of these people of the of the past centuries. We have to be people of our century, which. Yeah, he was elegant. Yes, yeah, yeah. he was really elegant. Yes, he was really elegant. He was cute, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we should look better at the work of George Brack and not. Accuse each other to be George Brack. Ooh, the giant. Uh, this is like now, like this guy. I mean, 
How did it happen? How is it possible that humanity has only one Pablo Picasso? This I don't understand. This is something I really don't understand. Like if aliens will come and say, what? Yes. Okay, you have a Picasso. Where is the second, the third, the fourth Picasso? What's your opinion about that? Why do we have only it's one so Picasso? So polarizing, everything else becomes a copy of a Picasso after, in his style, you know? Why are people still trying to paint realistically after Picasso? But it's not even about the painting with Picasso, it's about the, the existence of a creature who can do that. He was a do that. Minotaur, no? How do you say Minotaur? Minotaur, Minotaur yeah. Minotaur. A unique, a unique case, Picasso, oh my god. Like even the worst Picasso next to a very beautiful well, master. This was his car chauffeur in the museum. Oh. Yeah, the son is a chauffeur. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is at the end of his life in La California, no? In South of France. I'm sure he was even painting in the car if he had to yeah. pay some bills in some restaurant. What was the story with the Rolex they threw into the bullfighting ring on the Rolexes? Yeah, Picasso. I have this theory, the, the idea of the artist as an actor. Uh, and my idea is that an artist is uh, some, some very good actor that actually decides to play the role of an artist all his life, becomes specialist on one role. And I think that Picasso, that's what he did he, from a very young age. It's not about research, like he decides. He was very conscious about it. He was conscious, yes, I will be the, I will be the artist. Here are his parents, those two. Small. No, here. No. Oh, yeah. The small paintings. Ah, his parents. Mm. Ah, cool. So he decided to play the actor in the drama of, of contemporary life, how an artist should be, what is, what, uh, what is the artist of that past century. That's why Duchamp kind of gave up, because 